Okay, it's July 6th. This is the last day of the Joseph Edwards Alexander exhibition. Uh, 768 Purchase Street. And we're just gonna do a panorama of all these wonderful paintings that are in the show. With my steady, sure hand here. And I'd brought out some other landscapes people wanted to see. It's the bargain bin, wounded paintings. A wall of smalls here, mixing and matching different styles. goes into the second room now with his forms continuing works he did in the early in the mid 90s and uh, incredibly layered beautiful textured works layering color on color and then in 2003 you watch the forms dissolve as he transitions from color and form to color and light and then we have a couple Paintings and racks on paper. There we go, back to the beginning. And there's George Alexander. Here we see Joseph's early work beginning at the Swain School in 1969-70. Work continuing along this wall through the 1970s. Beautiful brushwork characterizes Alexander's work at all stages of his career. This continues with more work from the 1980s showing the influence of Bacon continuing these beautiful Fovis landscapes, various styles. In the early 90s, he painted these incredible dynamic landscapes. They are landscapes. He's abstracted the landscape forms, collapsed the perspective. And there's this wonderful geometric variation of the dynamic landscapes. You can see the horizon line there. early 90s he turns his attention to these wonderful forms, spirals and such. In this wall we have mixed and matched some of the styles, more of the early forms. 
and then the Wall of Smalls, with all 40 years of his artistic exploration shown together. This is combination painting and collage. More early forms and other styles mixed together here. This one on the top, you can see the influence of Howard Hodgkin and Bacon. Two artists he clearly drew important influence from. Color felt pen drawings are just exquisite. They're not preparatory sketches. They are fully developed works of art in their own right. Showing his extraordinary talent as a colorist. The only writing we found where the artist is discussing his own work. We continue in the second room with his incredible early forms, gourds, and seed pods. Beautifully textured flower forms, layering color on color. Beautiful texture and color work. In 2002, constructed his late forms, and by 2003, he began to dissolve the forms. The boundaries blur, the forms break up as he transitions from color and form to beautiful paintings of color and light.